Today we'll be discussing how to add your copyright information to digital files using Adobe Bridge. First you'll want to open Adobe Bridge and navigate to the file you'd like to update. Once selected, you want to make sure that you have highlighted the metadata menu at the top of the software panel. Editable options will be available to the bottom left hand side. As we scroll down, you'll see your basic information here listed about key pieces of information on your file type, the dimensions, the date created, etc. And the next menu we see is going to be our IPTC core menu. Uh, and this is where we can start adding our information. So you'll list who the image belongs to, what your job title is, the location the image was taken, country, and any necessary contact information you'd like to include. Here is where you'll also have the option to add keywords so that you can easily search for your digital files. Um, through your Finder or Spotlight program. Towards the bottom of the menu, you'll see a section for your copyright notice. Here is where you can add your copyright information. Now, a keyboard shortcut to get that nice copyright symbol, the little C with a circle around it, uh, for Mac users, you'll hold down the Alt key and the letter G, and that'll bring it right up for you. And you'll want to change your copyright status to copyrighted. And you can also change your rights usage terms. So if you wanted to make the image okay for commercial use or not okay for commercial use, this would be the ideal place to do that. You'll see also a more extended version of your IPTC information. This is where if you were photographing a, a model or working for an agency, you could list the information on the person or persons listed in that image so that you can track their model release status uh, and their specs after the fact of your shoot. Um, this is also where you'll again see another copyright option. You'll want to list the owner of the copyright's name and information. Now, if you're retaining the rights to your images, you'll want to make sure you keep your name and information here. However, if you're selling your images and you're granting a full licensing to your client, this is where you'll want to enter the client information so that it'll show your client has ownership of this photo. Um, once you've made all the necessary changes, you'll see right here at the bottom of the menu, a little check button and that'll show you apply. Once you select that check mark, all your copyright information has been saved to that image and you're safe to post online, email to your clients, and share with family and friends.